Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen what is nutrition and what is autotrophic nutrition. So now let's have a look on the heterotrophic nutrition in a detailed way. Eating is a quite simple way and is also an enjoyable process. All we have to do is chew our food and enjoy the flavor of the food. But what happens next to the food is quite complex and different for different organisms. We have seen that the heterotroph animals depend upon the autotrophs and the heterotrophic animals for their food. Now these animals have different strategies to take in the food. Now let's see what are the different strategies which are followed by these animals to take in the food. Now the first are some organisms which take in the food by breaking them outside the body like the bread molds, yeast and mushroom. They break their complex food particles outside the body and then absorb it. Whereas on the other hand there are organisms like human beings and animals which take in the whole food into the body and then start the breaking of food. They are called as holozoic animals. We can also see that the animals and the humans do not follow a same digestion process which means a cow and a human does not have a same digestive system. Why is it so? This is because the humans have different type of food and the cow or the animals have different type of food. Now in a similar way if you compare cow and tiger they have different digestive system because of different food types. So we can see that the different food can classify the organism having a different digestion process. In a similar way, there are some organisms which derive their nutrition from plants and animals without killing them and they are called as parasites. Now there are many organisms which follow these parasitic nutritive strategy like lice, leeches and tapeworms. Now let's see the digestion process in the unicellular organisms. Now these unicellular organisms include or uses their whole body for the process of digestion. Like when we talk of amoeba. Now amoeba is a unicellular organism and the primitive one. So it, whenever it sees a food particle, it has a finger like projections on its cells. Now these finger like projections are called as pseudopodia. Now wherever the food particle is, the pseudopodia gets fused with it, forming a food vacuole in it. Now the food vacuole has a function. Now this food vacuole breaks down the complex food particles into the simpler ones. Now since the food is broken down into the simpler ones, these simpler food particles diffuse into the cytoplasm of the whole amoeba and the undigested food is thrown out through the cell surface. In this simple way, the amoeba derives the food nutrition in from the food particles. Now, in a similar way, there is paramecium which is also a unicellular organism. The paramecium has a specific spot on its cell surface from where it can take the food. Now, the food can be reached by the cell only through the cilia which are present on the paramecium surface. Now this cilia helps the, helps the cell to move to the food particle and in this way the paramecium obtains its nutrition. So we can say in simple words that the cilia perform the function of hands. Now there are another organisms like fungi and algae. They have mutual benefits from, them, from each other and this type of nutrition is called as symbiotic nutrition. So we have seen the different type of nutritions which are followed by the heterotrophs. We will see the nutrition process or the digestion process of human beings in the next video.